Welcome to this installment of Capstan Ag video series. My name is Dustin Wagman and I am a Capstan Ag field marketing representative in the Pacific Northwest. Today we will be learning about location setup. This is also a crucial step in the Pinpoint 2 setup process. Let's get started. Pinpoint systems are unparalleled in the industry. In order to get your system working correctly, we first have to set it up correctly. So today we're going to focus on location setup. But before we do a location setup, we have to gather a little bit of information first. We can gather that information from the back of the manual, if that information was obtained and written down properly when we received the, the system, or manually going out to the boom, gathering VCM, serial numbers, and orientation. Now that you have the information, we can perform our location setup. First, press your location setup key on the display. This will bring you up the location setup table. Once on this screen, you can press and hold the location setup key for about 10 seconds. Now be aware, the screen will flash and then stop on an auto setup and edit setup screen. You will want to choose auto setup and it will bring you to the nozzle spacing screen. Make sure you have the correct nozzle spacing. When in doubt, pull out your tape measure to confirm the distance. Once you have the correct spacing, you can move to the next screen by pressing the check key on the display. Now you are at the VCM orientation and placement screen. This is where your information collection will come into play. Notice you have what looks like a boom and the VCMs are represented by a dot with a line. This screen needs to look exactly like the boom on the machine. If you need to go back and look to confirm, now would be a good time. You want to arrange the serial numbers in order first. If you need to change the location, press the select key. You can now move the selected VCM. Next you will want to or orient the VCMs, you can do this by simply pressing the up or down keys. Now you are ready to move to the next screen. This is the boom switch assignment screen. Every VCM is hardwired to a section via gateway hub. This assigns the VCMs to certain boom sections so the section control switches have ultimate shutoff power. You will want to make sure all of your boom switches in the cab or on the rate controller are shut off before you start this step. Next, you will turn on the master apply switch, giving power to the sections, and begin turning them on one by one. As you turn them on, you will see the VCMs attached to that section will light up red, indicating they are getting the signal. Be advised that some of the sections have multiple VCMs, so two VCMs may light up at the same time. Be sure to go slow here. If you move too fast, you could assign multiple VCMs to one section, and this would cause the system to work incorrectly. As the VCMs light up, you will also see a number change at the bottom of the screen. Wait for that number to change before moving to the next section. Once all sections have lit up, you have completed this step and can use the check to move to the next screen. This will take you back to the location setup screen. As you try to exit the screen, it will prompt you to save the selection. You will say yes to this and the system will power down as it saves. You've successfully performed a location setup. Thanks for learning with us today from everybody at Capstan Ag. For more information, contact our team at capstanag.com.